If you're looking to start a podcast or upgrade your current setup, you might wanna just look at an iPhone 15. Now that the iPhone 15 has USB-C, you can plug a USB mic into the iPhone with no adapters, no dongles, and start podcasting right away. You can even connect complete audio interfaces and use external monitors, which is really helpful if you're recording with remote guests using the Riverside app. And you can do all of that just powered by the iPhone. Let me show you how to do it. So this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, but everything I'm about to show you also works with the iPhone 15. And it's all because of this port right here. No longer do we have lightning ports on the iPhone. Everything is USB-C. So if you wanted to start podcasting, get a microphone like this. This is the Audio-Technica ATR2100X. It also has a USB-C port on the bottom. And then with just a single cable, you can connect the USB microphone to your iPhone and start podcasting right away. If you are going to record with remote guests using the Riverside app, the only other thing you will need is a wired pair of headphones, which you would connect right here into the bottom of the microphone. Now you can hear your remote guests, they'll hear you, and you're recording in high quality audio right from your iPhone. So connecting audio devices like USB mics, and I'm gonna show you audio interfaces in a second, is way easier. Now, if you wanted to do a video podcast, you can grab an inexpensive tripod like this. We'll put a link down in the video description. Then here on my iPhone, I'm gonna open the Riverside app, go to one of my studios. This way I can record with remote guests right here from my phone. When you see this pop up, if you've connected a USB interface or microphone, hit no. This way it uses the same device for audio input and output. I'll rotate my device so I'm in landscape. And now that I'm in the studio, I can invite other remote guests by tapping invite people. Then I can send the guest link either via text, email, or just copy the link and send it to someone directly. And I'm ready to record. I can hit the record button here. And the video you're watching right now is recorded in the Riverside app from my iPhone 15 using this USB microphone. And now remote recording, especially with video, is easier than ever. Get a microphone stand like this, and now you can record at home or on the go with just your iPhone and a couple accessories. This microphone is only $70, plus these little stands. You could do this whole setup for under $100 with the new iPhone 15. Now, if you're recording a podcast, you might go for a long time and you wanna charge your iPhone while you're recording, so you don't have to worry about battery life. Well, because of the USB-C port, you could do that too. Using a USB-C hub like this one from Anchor, it has a USB-C cable on the end and also multiple ports to connect to other devices including a secondary USB-C port for power. So I'm actually going to unplug the USB-C microphone from the iPhone, and instead I'll plug it into this USB-C hub. Make sure to look closely at the ports because one of these is for data transfer and the other one is for power. So we're gonna plug in a power source here and then the microphone right here. So I've plugged the microphone into the anchor hub, and then I'm gonna take this USB-C cable, which is plugged into a power brick, and plug it into the second port on this hub. Now when I connect this to my iPhone, you'll see it'll start charging, and it's also recognized the audio device one more time, so I can tap no. And then again, I'm using the USB microphone for audio and my phone is charging while I podcast. Now let's say you have multiple in-person guests that you would like to record into an audio interface all from your phone. Believe it or not, with the iPhone 15, you can do that too. Now not every audio interface works with the new iPhone, but I'm gonna use the Focusrite Vocaster 2. This works plugged directly into the iPhone or through the hub. So instead of plugging the USB-C microphone into the hub, then I'm gonna plug in the Vocaster 2 audio interface. And as you'll see, it's powering up, connected to this USB-C hub, which is connected to the iPhone. And just like before, we get the same audio pop-up, meaning it's recognized this device, and I'm going to tap no. And with this separate audio interface, I can plug in two XLR microphones so I could have two in-person guests that will still actually be recorded into Riverside and they'll hear the remote guests through the headphone ports on this device. I've now connected two XLR microphones to the Vocaster 2, which is still connected to the USB-C hub, which is then going into the Riverside app for remote recording, and you'll plug any wired headphones you have into the Vocaster 2. Let's hit next and jump into the studio. I'm now recording into the Riverside app with the Vocaster 2 studio. This is channel one going into that audio interface, and this is now channel two going into that same audio interface, going into Riverside and being recorded with remote guests. Now, one thing to keep in mind if you're using a multi-channel audio interface with Riverside, the recording in Riverside will have both of these microphones that you're using in person in one channel. You can't get separate recordings for those in-person channels. You will have your remote guests separately and then there'll be one track for everything being done in person. If you have an audio interface that can also record to an XD card, we'll put links to a few that we recommend down in the video description, then you can actually get separate tracks locally to that SD card from your audio interface and then still use it with Riverside and remote guests with this setup. All right, and finally, let's say you wanna use the back camera on your iPhone because that's the best quality video you're going to get, but you still need to be able to see your remote guests so you can't have your phone turn around. Well, the new iPhone 15 actually solves that too. Using the same USB-C hub, which has an HDMI out, 
I can connect an HDMI cable, then you can plug the other end of the HDMI cable into any external display and it will mirror the iPhone so you can see your guests. Now if you don't have an external display, but you do have an iPad with USB-C, you can actually get an inexpensive video capture device like this one, it's about $20 on Amazon, we'll put the link in the video description, and you can use this to mirror your iPhone display to an iPad. On the iPad you'll want to use Orion, this is a free app, we'll put a link in the video description, you don't have to pay anything for it, it has a pretty cool retro feel. I'm going to plug the other end of our HDMI cable into this adapter, and then plug this adapter into the iPad. And once it's plugged into the iPad, it's now mirroring my iPhone screen onto this device, which means I could see my remote guest here and still use the rear camera on my phone. Honestly, the new iPhone 15 with USB-C port opens up a lot of possibilities, not only for recording at home, but especially on the go. And if you want to see us build an entire studio setup with the iPhone, including lighting, a video monitor, a cage, and more, check out the video above, or the link is in the description, and subscribe to the Riverside channel. If you're looking for the best USB mics, video devices, and just need help starting your podcast, we have it all right there. Also, if you have any questions about this setup, leave it down in the comments. And before you go, there were a lot of updates to Apple Podcasts in the latest iOS 17, and if you're a podcast creator, you should definitely be taking advantage of them right now. You can watch this video right over here, and I explain all the new changes and how you can take advantage of new things like episode artwork and more. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.